Today, we're going over the five biggest mistakes we're all making in the bunker. Okay, we're gonna jump right in. Mistake number one, most people use the wrong club out of the bunker. They just grab their sand sh making club, their sand club. This is my 60 degree wedge, I'm in a bunker. I just grab it and I, and I go. There's two things that we need to know before selecting our club. One is distance to the hole. Are we going to the far hole, the close hole, a closer hole? makes a huge difference. The second is what type of sand are we playing? Fluffy sand requires more bounce. Hard pack sand requires less bounce. That's all in your club. Many times we just grab our most lofted club and we go for it. That could really mess you up because in a fluffy sand situation, I would want more bounce. My 50 degree wedge has eight degrees of bounce and my 60 has 12 degrees of bounce. Well, what if I'm going to a farther pin and I, I'm in fluffy sand. I not only want more club, how much more? Well, I don't want eight degrees of bounce. I want like 15 degrees of bounce. So I take the 50, I open up the face and that adds bounce. And then I, I have what I need for the longer shot out of a fluffier lie. And we get the distance we're looking for. We get the bounce we need. And just because you have a short shot doesn't necessarily mean 60. You could do the same thing. If you want even more bounce in a fluffier lie, just keep opening the 50 up. And you can still use a gap wedge for a short shot. Just like that. So don't just grab your sand club, calculate all the other factors that are required, then select the club that you need for that specific shot. Second biggest mistake in the history of sand shots is this. We get too steep, steep. Here's why, because we aim left, right? So we're opening up left. Let's say I'm going to a short hole. And then we think like, okay, I got to swing on my line. Here's my line. And I got to swing outside of that. Technically could be true but that causes the steepness. And then you do that. Because you're too steep, you're gonna get too much sand. So, this is a myth, okay? You can set up very, very square to your target, open the face, and not be too steep. But opening up causes your steepness. So we wanna be flat in our bunker play. And so just because you're taking the club head out there doesn't mean your hands have to fly straight up in the air. You want your hands tight to your body on your backswing and you want to feel your hands low to your leg throughout the shot because we want shallowness in our bunker play. The sh more shallow you are, that went in. There's no hole there, but it went in if you could see it, whatever. If there was a hole, it would have went in. So just because you open up doesn't mean you have to get steep. You could still be shallow as well. It's just going to go a lot shorter if the more you open up. Okay, the third huge mistake out of the sand is this. We have too short of a swing. Because I have a short shot, okay, if I was on the grass, it would just be a little chip shot. And so I'm in the bunker, we think, do one of those, and the ball doesn't get there. Or we have to, we short, and we, we accelerate so fast, we chunk it. It's because our swing is way too short. Huge mistake. When you're in the bunker, here's what I want you to do. Rule of thumb, just take a swing, hands to your shoulder, okay? Just always here, no matter what, it's going, even your bad shots are gonna be better with a longer swing, okay? Look, if I thin it, it doesn't matter how short my swing is, it's over the back of the green. So that's just gonna happen from time to time, accept it. But for the most part, I want a longer swing out of the bunker, hands to the shoulder. That's going to produce a better result than any type of short swing whatsoever. So don't suffer the short swing flaw when you're in the bunker. The mistakes are too great. So that leads us to the fourth hugest mistake in the history of bunker play. Now, you are taking a long swing, so that kind of adds to this particular mistake, and that is we decelerate into the ball, which means we're slowing down as we get to the ball. And when you slow down, you do that. You hit a foot behind the ball. And here's my mindset when I'm in the bunker. 
okay? Everything long is fine. Just, you gotta accept that. I don't care what's back there. That's better than being in the bunker again. So I'm not going to fear the thin shot. If you accelerate through the ball and you hit it fat, it's still gonna get out because you're having acceleration through the ball. So you take a long swing, you, you can go slow here, but from this point, that's where you wanna accelerate. From the thighs through is your acceleration point. So long swing and then accelerate. Everything long is good. Everything where you decelerate is going to be bad. So even if I hit it fat, that was super fat. I still have a great shot because I accelerated through the ball. There's only one huge miss with acceleration and that's a thin shot. And that miss is gonna be bad whether you accelerate or decelerate. Always accelerate and you'll be you'll be fine. That leads us to our last and final huge critical mistake out of the bunker. For some reason, people don't do this. I don't know why. It's the easiest thing to do, but we all suffer from this and it's very, very troubling because if you do it, it eliminates so many problems in life. And that is your stance. You've got to be wide and you got to bend your knees. If you do these two things, it will eliminate a lot of the major problems in the bunkers. This position forces you to do a lot of other things correctly, okay? So just know that. You can't be too wide and you can't be too low with your knees. Wide, get low, and you're good. Now it's easy to get my weight forward. You want that too, but if you don't do it and you only did this, you'll be fine. But get your knees down in here and then it's so much easier to be athletic and you're good to go. Here in North Georgia, White Columns Country Club, Club Corp course, link in the video description below. That's your top five hugest mistakes we're all making out of the bunkers. If you wanna fix your chunk shots, click right over here. Love you guys, see you soon.